Hello all, my name is Kath Singer and I will be telling you about the Unlockdown Festival. As you can see, my design project brief is to design a branded marketing suite and website to support the promotion of an emotional wellbeing festival in Sydney CBD. As part of this project, I will be taking on the role of the festival's marketing and brand manager to guide my design work. This project is important as COVID-19 has changed the world as we know it. It's now the norm to wear masks in public and not see each other's faces and we are reminded frequently to socially distance from each other. This has caused a great sense of alienation, fear and sadness in many people across the world of all cultures, ages and backgrounds. In response to this and to the United Nations Sustainability Development Goal number three, I aim to ensure healthy living and the promotion of well-being for all ages through this Emotional Wellbeing Festival. It is supported by research from Liam Wan, who found confirmatory evidence of a link between emotional solidarity and community attachment and their influence in the positive support of festivals and their meaningful emotional impacts. So my goal is to design a project brief which raises awareness of emotional well-being, offers support and provides well-being advice and solutions. And I also aim to encourage community reconnection in post-COVID-19 society through the production of this festival. To do this, I have looked at three precedents. The first is Benevolent Society, who are an Australian charity focused on disability and social support. The visual identity was refreshed to represent the society's personality and diversity of services. Although I must admit that I wouldn't know that just by looking at their brand. However, I was particularly taken by the bright colours and the strong emotional feelings they give off. The second precedent is the city of Melbourne, who are uh, also refreshed their visual identity back in 2010. The aim was to create a mental shortcut for those looking at the logo while still allowing it to be a flexible branding tool. It's impressive how the same outline could be filled with so many different designs, colours and patterns and still be recognisable and grab attention. The third precedent is one we used before as a group, but it still remains relevant. The Big Anxiety is Australia's largest mental health festival and its premise is similar enough to my idea to make it relevant. I have been looking at their website and program offerings for inspiration for my festival. With influence from these precedents, I set about creating my conceptual framework using the quadruple bottom line diagram. Key points from this was the festival's aim to nurture individuals' emotional well-being now and into the future and to promote a greener and more connective version of a normal festival uh, to drive positive communications and mindsets in the wake of COVID-19 and to help local businesses, speakers and designers in the process. For further inspiration, I have devised two personas. The first is Maggie, a recently retired lady living alone in the North Shore. And the second is Daniel, a recent graduate living in the Inner West. Both have helped the loading impact of COVID and are seeking to meet new people and get life back to normal. With the aim of appealing to the Maggies and Daniels of Sydney, I have created a brandy suite which is full of colour and aims to represent the fun side of the festival. Here you can see the logo I have designed, the brand colours I've chosen and the fonts and I feel these align with the festival's vision. Next, I have created a large array of branded items, uh, including printed assets, promotional posters and banners. And I have created some in situ examples of these too. I've also designed some branding for event equipment as the festival is meant to be set up in the blank canvas of the Sydney Royal Botanical Gardens. I've designed some drafted digital promotional assets for the festival social media channels and for the email template and I have created a draft website wireframe too. My aim would be to realise the website in project B and make it functional. I also got a little carried away and designed some corporate stationery and merchandise although I feel these may be an unnecessary extra step. In conclusion, I believe I need greater focus on the branded products I am choosing to design and I need to aim for quality over quantity. This might mean a slight change to the festival's visual identity and a greater understanding of its definitive focus. 
Thank you for listening.